The Civil War was the most transformative event in America's history, and it is one that people still remember today. Indeed, we debate it with such zeal that we confirm Faulkner's maxim, the past is not dead, it's not even past. The United States is now commemorating the 150th anniversary of the Civil War, and in an important sense, we are still fighting it. We are fighting over the war's causes. We are fighting over the role that African Americans played in it. Indeed, we continue to fight over such basic questions as when the war began, when it ended, and which side was victorious. When Abraham Lincoln delivered his inaugural address, he acknowledged that a single issue was dividing the country. One section of our country believes slavery is right and ought to be extended, he said, while the other believes it is wrong and ought not to be extended. This is the only substantial dispute. It was not a controversial statement at the time, as David Von Draylen reminds us. Indeed, Southern leaders were saying similar things during those fateful days. So how is it that 150 years later, Americans have lost that clarity about the cause of the Civil War? In April 2011, on the eve of the Fort Sumpner anniversary, a majority of Americans believed that the Confederacy was motivated not by a commitment to slavery, but rather by a commitment to states' rights. Most students believe that the war began with Fort Sumpner and ended at Appomattox with a Union victory. But if the war was fought over the status of blacks, as Lincoln, Jefferson Davis, and almost everyone else at the time believed, then the war began much earlier than Fort Sumpner and lasted much longer than Appomattox. It began with guerrilla warfare between masters and slaves, and between Northerners and Southerners in several states and in the halls of Congress. It evolved into a military war after Fort Sumpner, and it became a terrorist war during and after Reconstruction. Although the Confederacy surrendered, the Old South was destroyed, and the Constitution was amended, Southerners nonetheless won the war by creating a new order of black unfreedom. And they did so in large part by controlling how stories of the Civil War got told. Here we are in Memorial Hall. A hall that commemorates Harvard students and graduates who served in the Union, though not the Confederate, armies and navies during the Civil War. Most Americans believe that Lincoln freed the slaves and that blacks were incidental to the conflict. This is because for most of the 20th century, blacks have been written out of the histories of the Civil War. During the 50th anniversary of the Battle of Gettysburg, for instance, African Americans were not even allowed to participate. Our course highlights the crucial role that African Americans played in the Civil War before and after. Our course offers a new understanding of the conflict for the sesquicentennial and the 21st century, a long civil war that is still being fought. We focus on primary sources and explain how and why the histories of the Civil War differed so dramatically from these sources. We look at how Europeans understood the conflict, including poor factory workers in England who helped ensure that the Confederacy could not remain a separate country. Throughout the course, we show how the war transformed literature, art, politics, history, and memory. And we reveal how these representations of the war shape society and the war itself.